and welcome to another RSR tonight I'm reviewing Ral Esteli FC1 CSD Shellahu MC nil in the CONCACAF Central American Cup 2023 Group B Ral Esteli FC 1 CSD Shellahu MC 0 in la Copa Centroamericana de la CONCACAF Grupo B Goals were scored as follows. Arlie Bonilla scores in the 19th minute, the only goal of the game. Ball crossed in. Bonilla's covered on the header, but doesn't matter. He jumps up into the heavens. He double jumps the man, heads the ball into the net. Beautiful goal. Makes it 1-0. Uno Acero, the first ever goal in CONCACAF Central American Cup history. Primer goal de la historia Centro Americana, Copa Centro Americana de la CONCACAF. 1-0, 1-0, Real Esteli. And that's the way we go into the half. 1-0, 1-0. Full time, 1-0, 1-0. Real Esteli dominated this game. They wanted it more. They just wanted it more. Shayla, who had no answers whatsoever. They had no answers on how to play this game. They did not care. It didn't look like they cared. Looks like they got outplayed. The game passed them by throughout the night. Stats are as follows. 21 shots to four. 14 shots on goal to three. 54% possession to 46% possession. 408 passes to 329. 84% pass accuracy to 80. 16 fouls to 10. Three offside to zero. Four yellow cards to two. Zero red cards to zero. And 12 corners to three. Real Esteli wins the first game. In Central American Cup history, Real Esteli ganar primer partido en la historia de la Copa Centroamericana de la CONCACAF. Big win. Real Esteli wanted this more. They knew the they knew the occasion. They were at home for the first game ever in this tournament. And they wanted to show that they wanted to win. They wanted to show that this was their moment, their time, their time to shine. And they have the history. They have a lot of CONCACAF experience. Jokero, not Jokero, they're playing right now. Jokero, they just got scored on as of recording. Shalahu, Shalahu doesn't have the experience. Well, I guess both teams don't have the experience. But Shalahu does not have the experience that Real Esteli does. They don't. They don't. They don't. And that's the problem, is they don't have the experience to play a game of this magnitude. They got sort of frozen, you know? Like, you freeze sometimes when you don't know what to do, you know, fight or fly, but you freeze sometimes. Yeah, this is kind of what that was. Shellahu, they've had a good season in Guatemala to get here, but... They did not look like the Shayla Who that got themselves here. No. They looked like a deer in the headlights the way this game was played. Real Esteli had their history. They know what this feels like. They know how to play CONCACAF League games. They know how to play Champions League games. Because they hadn't played the Champions Cup. Well, I guess they have, but not the modern era. But again, they know what this game is supposed to be like. They know how to play these games. They know how to fight. They know how to show their heart. They know how to show how to win these games. Shalahu, on the other hand, uh, no, no. The game passed them by. They were passengers in this story. They were NPCs in this story. They were like those people on TikTok doing those NPC live streams. It's like you were playing FIFA and you're playing Shalahu and you're playing as Real Esteli and you're just dropping play after play and somehow you're not scoring, but you should be. Like the goalie AI is better than the player AI, the outfield player AI, and you're not scoring because again, to tie into that, the keeper for Shalahu kept them in this game. By far. They would not even have had a 1-0 loss 
had the keeper not played the way he played. And that's just simple facts. That's just simple facts. They did not play the way the players let their keeper down. The outfield players let their keeper down. Why? Because they couldn't score. They couldn't put on any chances. Shots on goal were few and far between for them. Shots in general were few and far between for them. It was an absolute joke. Like, I feel for that keeper. Because to me, if my team hang me out to dry like that in a continental game, I would scream in their face. I would be angry because he got hung out to dry. And it wasn't even really his fault the header went in. I mean, when you double jump somebody and you get, and you get the position of the header, it's going to be hard to save. That's football. It's not like it, it was it was his howler. The defense should mark better. If you let somebody get a header where they double jump you or it's free, it's probably going in. A goalkeeper would have to make a absolutely crazy save to get that. And yes, making a lot of great saves. But you got to do even better to just get to that ball if it's a header. So... Again, I'm not going to blame the keeper for really anything here at all. Rallistelli just dominated. They dominated. They wanted this game more. It started off a bit even, but after the 15th minute, it was just Estelli, Estelli, Estelli. Even if they had the lead, they still wanted more. They wanted to put this one away. They weren't stepping back. They wanted to put this one away, and I don't blame them. That's what they should do. That's what you should do. Not sit back at home, and hope you don't get a goal against you. No, you keep putting plays on, you keep putting chances on, and then you keep trying to score goals and win that way. But, again, so, for me personally, Bonilla is the man of the match for me. Arlie Bonilla is the man of the match for me because, again, they scored the goal. He scored the goal. And I think personally that that deserves man of the match. Arlie Bonilla scored the goal. Real Esteli all had good performances, but again, Bonilla scored the goal. He gave them the first three points in CONCACAF Central American Cup history. To me... That's man of the match tier for me. So, Arlie Bonilla's man of the match tonight for Real Esteli. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, one subscribe, send super chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put us in playlist, share us with friends and family, all that great stuff. I hope you enjoyed the League's Cup knockout prediction video, group recap knockout prediction video. Hope you enjoyed that by the time you get here. And as well, tomorrow I'll be live for Inter Miami versus Orlando City. And I will also be live for LAFC versus Juarez. And that's the game I'll review is LAFC versus Juarez. We got a lot of League's Cup coming up. But it was good to see some history in CONCACAF in the Central American Cup tonight. With that being said, see you later. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. See you.